Alright cool, so what's going on family and welcome back to another episode of Ambitious Eats. Now today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I'm actually down at a place called Cakes of Daisy. Um, this is a place, this is different, I haven't really done a vlog like this before and that deals with more cakes, milkshakes, more desserts, pancakes, um, cookie dough. I haven't really done a vlog like this before, but as they say, you know, as you know, there's a first time for everything, but I've got a spread of so many things in front of me and I'm excited to actually get tucked into it as well. So what I wanna ask you guys to do, just do the normal stuff. The first thing, uh, make sure you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I upload two brand new videos each and every single week exploring brand new places that you guys should eat at next. And secondly, go ahead and make sure that you give my Instagram a follow. Um, that's where the content that won't make it to this channel will be posted. All right, you're gonna see it because come up on the screen somewhere. Make sure you go across, give me a follow over there. But with that being said, let me show you guys around. Let me show you guys the owner and let me show you guys some of the food that we're gonna be talking into. And then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna start tasting some food. Let's get it guys. Saw you looking my way. Uh, start to contemplate moments that went to waste. Uh, why you do that? You drop me like who that? All right, cool, yo, guys. So I'm gonna get stuck in to what it is that I've got in front of me now. I've got a massive, massive range of different, different things that are in front of me, and I'm gonna be trying a lot of them out. Um, the ones that I can't finish, I will be taking home for the missus and for my daughters as well. But um, yeah, man, I'm really, really excited. So something that I've recently just started to fall in love with is Biscoff. Now, this is a Biscoff milkshake. Look at that. It's got the cream on top. It's got a biscuit in there as well. You can see some of the sauce in there. I mean, this looks amazing. And I can guarantee this is already going to taste fire. You know, the, you know the Biscoff hype of lately? Yeah, I see where it's come from because this is mad. Jesus. It's like, it tastes so good, but it's not too rich. It's not too much to the point where it's killing. Yeah, sometimes I've had like some things like, sometimes you can go somewhere, you can have a chocolate milkshake or a chocolate dessert and it's so overpowering it's overbearing that you can't you can't even handle it but it's not the case with this at all this tastes fire you can taste the biscoff as well man my god mm. that tastes proper mm. try some of the biscuit Biscoff, man, it's it's my new favorite thing. I kid you not, it's so fire. Mm. Mm. Tastes amazing. All right, cool guys. So I'm sitting here with Millie. She's the owner of Cakesy Daisy, and I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to meet um, the great mind behind who started the business. So. Uh, first and foremost, for all the people that are watching, um, let them know, just, uh, obviously a little bit about yourself and about a little bit about Cakes of Daisy as well. Okay, so I'm Millie, um, normally known as the crazy ginger cake lady, um, and we are Cakes of Daisy, and originally we started out as just a cake company, so all we made was like cake and coffee, and then over the years we've completely adapted and we've gone to making big custom cakes, we now serve on Uber Eats and Just Eat, we do desserts, we do like fully loaded brownie slabs, we do mounting of brownies for orders, you know, we do so, so many things and we've also recently just started to get into supplying trade customers, so we now stock um, cafes, restaurants, um, dessert shops, loads of different places, so yeah, we're ever evolving and anything sweet, anything sweet treat, we are your gals. 
absolutely smashed it love it love it so um how long has KXC days actually been running so i've been doing it for 10 years um i started out when i was about 17 18 and i'm coming up to 29 now and then um we have had the shop for seven years Wow. So, yeah, we've been open for seven years. Love it. And what's the reception being from the local community? Do you know what? Really good. Really good. I mean, you know, there's we're, we're, we're in a small village. Uh, we don't have a car park, mm. so we are on double yellows. And we do get the odd person who's like, I can't park anywhere. But it's only like if you go into town, you know, going to Birmingham, you have to park in a car park, walk to the place. You know, that's probably the only ag that people have with us. Um, and obviously local tenants, sometimes people will park where there's no double yellows and that tends to be in a community area. Uh, but, you know, it, there's never any bad vibes. We, we always apologise we tell our customers not to park there and and that's always you know easily sorted um, but the reception from everyone else is just amazing so yeah we've love been it. very well received love it I love it so lastly um, obviously through obviously the, everything that you've just said we can tell that you're always thinking about the future always. and you're always thinking about how you can elevate things and take it to the next level yeah uh, what plans do you have for the future with cakes a daisy oh well, in all honesty, if I said that I knew the answer to that, I'd yeah. think I'd be lying because COVID really stuck a spanner in the works yeah, yeah. because I'd got all these plans prior to COVID and then we had to just completely one out of the business. Like, yeah. you know, we had to completely flip it. We now work on a completely different dynamic from what we did before, um, which is great because, you know, we've, we've been able to adapt. We've been able to survive and I'm really, really grateful for that. Um, but it's just took us off course, should I say? Um, and it's probably different to what I thought I envisioned five years ago. Uh, but no doubt we will get big out. Would absolutely love another shop. I'd love a unit um, with a you know massive industrial mixers and industrial ovens. But you know we'll see where uh, we'll see where this takes us. We've just got to uh, get through the price rises first. <laughs> Let's get through 2022 first, yeah, and then we'll see. Right. So right here. Look at this, look at this masterpiece. That's a beauty that is. This is a Jammy Dodger cheesecake. Look at that. And guys, look, this is how you know Cakes and Daisy, these guys are doing things right. This has honestly been out for, could be about 30, maybe 40 minutes while I was getting photos, getting B-roll, all that type of stuff. This has been out and look at it. It's still holding the Jammy Dodger firm. It still looks good. And I know it's gonna taste good as well. This looks certified. Look at that. Look, let's get let, let's get stuck in. Mm. Oh, nice crispy base at the bottom of the cheesecake. That's what we love to see. Sometimes you can go some places and the bottom of the cheesecake can be a bit a bit soggy after a while because of all of the like the cheesecake that's on top. But crispy. Look at the jammy dodger sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, sorry guys, I know this looks bad, but. Oh, look at that. Look. Look at that. Mmm. Proper. Let's give it a go. Jesus. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. It makes sense the reason as to why they've been going for so long. The base is crispy. Once again, not too rich, but it's sweet. And I like that because I've got a sweet tooth. You've got like the, I don't know whether it's strawberry or raspberry sauce. You've got the little white kind of chocolate chips in there too. And you've got the little, like little sprinkles and stuff like that in there as well and then you got the jammy dodger right there how much memories from being a kid but i'm going to save that for the little ones when i get back home jammy dodger cheesecake it's a yes from me mm. all right coolio so the next thing that i've got is a ferrero rocher sunday now this ferrero rocher brings out man memories for me because growing up as a kid my dad always used to ask me, 
what do you, for my mum's birthday or for Mother's Day, what do you want me to buy for your mum that is from you? My dad always used to ask me that. And I'd always say to him, Ferrero Rache, so that I could eat them. And that's exactly what I used to do. So this looks, I mean, it looks amazing. Look at that, nice and thick. Mm. Mm. So I've got like the Ferrero, you now the crispy little parts that are around the Ferrero Rocher. They've got those little crispy parts too. I've got myself a spoon. Let me get myself tucked in. Look at that. Look at it. That looks amazing. Mmm. Got the chocolate sauce on there as well. There's some yellow stuff in there. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I wonder if it's the actual, actual ice cream. So take a look at this. Look at this pre presentation on the slab here. Look at that. Look at this. Toffee crisp blondie. Look at that. Looking amazing. Let's give these a go, man. Let's not waste any time. Toffee crisp. different. Never tasted anything like this before. Mm. Like the white stuff that's around it is nice and soft. You bite straight into it. It's easy for your teeth to kind of sink into. And then you obviously have the toffee crisp in there which is obviously crunchy. Crispy as it says. I like that one. Let's give this one a try. I can presume this one's going to be similar to that one. Uh huh. Ooh, this one's rich. I can really taste the chocolate in this one. I can really taste it. I love it. It's nice. Cool, y'all. Now we've got the cookie dough. As you can see there, look. Look at that. It's got the orange, terry orange chocolates on there as well. Let's give this a go. Mm. Look at that. The chocolate sauce dripping from there. Ooh. Mmm. I can really taste that Terry's chocolate orange in there. I can really taste it. Wow, crap one of these bad boys. Just so that you guys know, they obviously have the normal stuff, you know, normal drinks, things like that, tea, coffee. They do that here as well. This is what a sick coffee shop, man. Such a sick coffee shop. They do desserts, they do cakes, they do brownies, they do pancakes they do cookie dough they do the you know, cheesecake all these different things they do and they have your normal stuff like if you just want to pop a cherry coke you can and i've got it cheers i mean guys honestly man the, these guys know what they're doing here man uh it's a nice little coffee shop right in the middle of a village called cheslin hey um they do so much different things man you can order from here take it away you can order here and eat it inside you can order in here and literally come out the back where i'm sitting right now and eat out here like everything that it is that you need is here you can order big proper cakes and get them taken away as well man i mean this business um millie has absolutely smashed it and it's so good to see once again you know um a young businesswoman who's who's crushing it she's kidding it um literally as i'm sitting here you know what i mean the, the the coffee shop is to my left and you know a workshop where they make bigger cakes and whatnot it's to my right 
like she's got a full-blown operation going here and like i said it's it's so good to see young entrepreneurs coming out and killing it with their businesses man and it's businesses like this local businesses who we need to make sure that we're supporting so guys all the information for cakes of daisy is going to be in the description below this video please make sure you go check them out and show them guys some love i mean everything has been certy everything has been above board here for my visit and I honestly believe you guys need to come down, check these guys out and show them some love, man. But honestly, I could be here talking all day for the rest of the day. So what I'm simply going to do, guys, is I'm going to bring an end to this video. If you guys do the normal things, number one, if you like this video, please make sure you consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you haven't already, I upload two brand new videos each and every single week showing you where it is that you need to eat at next. And number two, go across to my Instagram page and give me a follow there. That is where the content that doesn't make it to this channel will be. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys. If you guys want to see uh, a place where you can get things like steak, you can get honey wings, you can get mac and cheese, jumbo shrimp, click this video here. Or if you guys want to see a place in the heart of Wolverhampton that does fire pizzas, amazing chicken strips, and also fire chicken wings, click this video here.